My town was a beautiful town. Beautiful houses, flowers, gardens. If you talk to people about Auschwitz, they think that Auschwitz was the, the crematorium, the guest chamber, but it was a town. My childhood was beautiful. Auschwitz was a very nice Jewish town. Fifty percent of the town was Jewish before the war. It was constant, ongoing, daily, intense. 1939, beginning of World War II, there were three and a half million Jews living in Poland. When the Germans decided to create the death mechanism in Poland, they did it there because that's where Judaism and Jewish life and culture was most vibrant until 1939. Auschwitz is very strategically located um, in the nexus of a number of major rail lines in Central Europe that allowed for the efficient transportation of a large number of people. It was on the Krakow-Vienna train artery. So it really was extremely well located if you were interested in the movement of freight, or in this case, people. I visited Auschwitz for the first time in 1992 and I was struck by the anonymity of the deaths. It really it led me to believe that there should be some way to juxtapose the anonymity of the deaths with the very specificity of the lives that were lived there. And so we sought to find a place somewhere in the town of Auschwitz that could represent that dichotomy. There was one, one synagogue that survived out of more than 30 that existed in the town before the war. It didn't look at all like a synagogue, and the communists had used it as a carpet warehouse, and the Germans had used it as munition storage. The surviving name of the only synagogue in the town that remained is called the Hevrolam de Mishnaios, the Center for the Study of the Friends of Mishnah of Ethics. So the thing that survived the fires of Birkenau was Jewish ethics. <laughs> We have the, the three main functions, uh, which are the synagogue, the only existing synagogue in the vicinity of Auschwitz, uh, the Jewish Museum, which tells the history of the Jewish community of Auschwitz, and the Education Center, which uh, tries to teach mostly students about Jewish history, uh, Judaism. Most of the students are really interested when you start telling them what happened here and kind of show them the other side because most of them only visit Auschwitz and so they're quite surprised when they come here and I like telling them things. <laughs> Our goal from the very beginning, should we be fortunate enough to establish the Auschwitz Jewish Center, that it would find a proper home, a guardian, and the people at the uh, Museum of Jewish Heritage were the absolutely appropriate people. Auschwitz Jewish Center is, is an antidote to um, the notion of Jews as victims because it gives Jews lives, it gives them history, it gives them context. We were almost wiped out. The challenge is to understand that there was something before the Holocaust. We want to keep it alive. I want a more powerful place to do that. In their very place, we were almost destroyed.